Hello dear children, hope you are doing fine. Uh, today is the theme of our lesson, Infinities versus ING forms. The learning objective uh, of our lesson is to use the infinity forms after a limited number of verbs and adjectives, uh, use gerund forms after a limited variety of verbs and preposition. Lesson objectives are to learn infinitives and ING forms uh, to differentiate infinitive and ing forms and use them in sentences. First point, uh, the usage of infinitive with to. We use the infinitive with to first to express a purpose. For example, he uses his car to get home. To get home, it's our purpose. St students started very hard to pass the exams. To pass the exams, it's our purpose. Okay, the second point, after the following verbs, advise, agree, decide, claim, want, expect, continue, hope, offer, seem, uh, promise, etc., we use infinity with to. For example, they decided to join the team. Uh, he advises to learn Chinese. Next point, we use the infinity with to. After would like, would love, would prefer to express personal uh, specific preferences. For example, I would like to play football today. My mom would prefer to drink coffee after dinner. Next, we use the infinitive with to after adjectives glad, happy, sad, lucky, eager, willing, reluctant, etc. For example, he is willing to donate some money to charity. We are lucky to win the first prize. After adjectives, we always use uh, infinitive with to. Okay? We use the infinitive without to. First point, after modal verbs, can, may, must, should, etc. For example, Alex can type very fast. After modal verb, we use infinitive without to. Okay? Mary should read this article. Next point, we use the infinitive without to after verbs make let. For example, they don't let N go to the party. You can see we uh, didn't write to. Uh, the hot weather makes me feel uncomfortable. He sh wouldn't let you read this letter. Okay, and ing forms. We use the ing form. First, as a noun, as a subject. As you can see in examples, swimming is a good form of exercise. ING form, swimming. Mm -hmm. Stealing money is a crime. Next point, we use the infinitive for, uh, ING forms after verbs admit, appreciate, avoid, concede, continue, deny, fancy, and etc. For example, would you mind closing the window? Not to close, closing. Uh, I can imagine George riding a motorbike. Not to ride, riding. We use the infinitive form after verbs love, like, enjoy, prefer, dislike, hate to express per, uh, general preferences. For example, I prefer eating home-cooked meals. Mary enjoys dancing, general preferences. Mm -hmm. And the fourth point, we use the ING form as an object after prepositions. For example, John is good at fixing computers. Uh, we are not interested in buying this house. After prepositions, we always use ING forms. Next. And now a bit practice. Your task will be to watch the video and look at the example of the verbs of uh, plus ing and verbs plus infinitive. They are in red in subtit subtitles. That's why just watch and think about the reason of using them. What's up, Polly? Hmm? Uh, nothing. 
Oh, come on. Something's wrong. No, seriously. Don't tell me. You've invited Amy to go to your class dinner, but she decided to go with Elliot instead. Well, you like cooking, so lunch isn't the problem. I know. You want to wear your favourite T-shirt, but it's got tomato on it? No. Well, yes, that too. I don't know how to clean it, but no, that's not the real problem. It's, well, it's Mum. Have you had an argument? When did she phone? Oh, I hate missing her calls. She hasn't called yet. Don't worry. So what's up? Come on, just tell us. I don't like seeing you like this, Ollie. <sighs> well, she's in Italy, and she promised to take me there. I was looking forward to going. I plan to go to some real Italian restaurants to, you know, have some real Italian food, so I could try to make some at home. And I wanted to visit Rome, and Venice, and Florence, and Siena, and well, she hasn't even remembered to phone, or to send an email, or anything. No, but she will. You know she's always so busy. She never stops working. Or maybe she's had a problem. But it'll be cool. She'll phone. Do you know what you need? You need to have some fun. We can pretend to be in Italy. Pretend to be there. Yes, let's do it. You wanted to practice cooking Italian food, didn't you? So, here's a cookbook. We just need to choose a dish, and then we need to buy ingredients. You cook, Oliver, and I know how to make great tiramisu. Daisy, you can get some Italian music. We can eat in the garden, like at a pavement cafe. Alfie, you're mad. <laughs> you're wonderful and mad, and I love doing mad things. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Mum. Mom. Hi, Sophie. How's Italy? Oh, it didn't stop raining all day yesterday, and today it's foggy. It's impossible. I can't see anything or go anywhere. I'll have to come back next month. Oh, and Ollie, would you like to come too? Then Gennaro Falcone, the famous restaurant owner, has offered to teach you some of his most popular recipes. I told him you really enjoy cooking. I'd love to go, Mum. Thanks. So, what are you doing? It looks interesting. A bit practice. Let uh, the task is to complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs in brackets. Your task. Okay, you have eight sentences and verbs in brackets. Please open and put in gerund, ing form or infinitive with two. Now let's check. Okay, first. I love going to see my grandparents. The second, please remember to give your keys to your brother. Third, I've decided to go to Turkey for our holidays. Fourth, I'd really love to see you again. The fifth, I am not looking forward to going uh, to the dentist. Oh, I, the sixth, I hate getting up early on Sundays. The servants, what do you want to do later? Eight, would you mind closing the window? Mm -hmm. Very good. And now uh, one more task. Your task is to choose the correct option. Let's check. Okay. In the first sentence, we should choose getting. She delayed getting out of bed. The second, we should choose to speak. He demanded to speak to, ma to the manager. Third, I offered to help. Fourth, uh, we should choose going. I miss going to the beach. 
fifth, we postponed doing our homework. Uh, six, I hate uh, I hate to arrive too late. Seventh, she admitted to steal. Uh, she admitted stealing the money. Uh, eight, I choose to work here. Uh, nine, she waited to buy a drink. Ten, I really appreciate being on holiday. That's good. Okay, and now let's discuss. Let's try to answer some questions. Think about your week and try to answer that, such questions. What do you enjoy doing? What do you, what do you not mind doing? And what do you avoid doing if possible? Look at the example. How can you answer? For example, I enjoy reading historical novels. I don't mind going out with my friends. Or I avoid cleaning my room if possible. It's a joke, of course. Okay, try to answer. And now, dear children, your home task will be uh, in your textbooks, Excel for Kazakhstan Grade 8, published by Express Publishing, uh, exercise number one, page eight. You should read the theory. And uh, exercise number two, page eight, uh, you should put the verbs in brackets in the correct form and give reasons. Okay, thank you, dear guys. Goodbye.